What is going on guys, it's Bobby here and welcome back to some more Ark Aberration. Now, last time we left off, we were trying to find some oil rocks and stuff. We explored new aberration areas and even found some new critters, like that giant snake critter that I guess was an alpha basilisk or basilisk or however you pronounce that. Sheesh, that was crazy. Anyways, I came back home because I, I was going that way at the end of the last episode, but unfortunately that just took me to the same underground area, and as far as I know, the deeper we go, the more dangerous it gets. So I feel like I'm super unprepared in that regard, because I know there's like radiation sort of stuff going on around this whole entire map. That's why this place is so crazy in, in the first place. So I think I might do some more crafting and, and then spawning in the stuff because of course if you guys are new to the series if i go up here and try to type in like a uh, hazard suit or something like that it's not going to come up same thing whenever i come over here and select aberration it doesn't come up because one of my mods is kind of messing with everything and i have to wait till that updates unfortunately so for right now i'm just going to try and get the materials and then go over to a chest over there and just kind of throw it out and wait for it to despawn and then spawn in the item that i want because apparently I can spawn in the items just fine, but I just can't unlock the Engrams for whatever reason. I guess if anything, now that I think about it, I wonder if I can actually get the blueprint for this stuff instead of having to deal with that. So let me go look this up real quick. Okay, it looks like I need to be required level level 68 to unlock the hazard stuff. So okay, I'm level 71. I'm, I'm past that, no problem. So as for the helmet, the chest piece, the gauntlets, the leggings and the boots, all level 68. Okay, so they do require some engram points. I have 446 right now, so I don't think that's that big of a deal if I spawn in the actual uh, blueprints, if, if I even can. So I wonder if I could do this. Let me just copy this and try and spawn these in real quick. Hopefully it'll be a lot easier for me to do and a lot easier for you guys to watch too. And then once Extinction Core actually updates, then I'll unlock the actual engrams and spend the actual engrams like I would normally. All right, and then let me try and type in this and then true at the end. Common hazard suit hat. Okay, I don't want the hat itself. Ooh, yeah, I don't want the hat itself. I want the blueprint of it. Well, I guess that, if anything, it looks like we can spawn in the actual hazard suit stuff. No problem, but let me drop that there. And let me try and spawn in the blueprint first, though. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, I got it. I got it right there. There's the blueprint. Okay, so now we have the blueprint. So we need 25 blue gems. God, 20 congealed gas balls. 50 crystals. 45 fiber. 30 hide. 20 polymer. I think we can get this. The only thing that's, like, the big thing for us, the main thing, is that we don't have enough congealed gas balls. And, of course, there's another thing for that. Uh, which is called the Gas Collector, which is also an aberration thing, which I might as well spawn in the actual blueprint for right now. And then, you know, we can just go unlock the actual Engram here in a bit. But blueprint for Gas Collector, we need to be level 40 to unlock that. And of course, we're much past that, so not that big of a deal if I'm spawning in the blueprint for it. But we craft this at the Smithy. Okay, well, that's kind of interesting. I thought it'd be maybe at least a Fabricator, but let's go over here to Smithy. Let's go throw down the blueprint for that, so that way it'll be a lot easier. And I'll be able to actually get the uh, XP for crafting this thing instead of spawning it in. So I guess we discovered a brand new way to craft things that I currently can't craft because of a glitch. So let me spawn in the rest of the hazard suit blueprints and then we can slowly make our way to actually being able to craft these bad boys legitimately. So there's the common hazard suit shirt. Let me get the gauntlets, the leggings, and the boots real quick. The blueprints of them, I mean. There we go. There's the gloves. Here's the pants. There we go. Let me get the boots and we'll be good to go and just kind of throw these inside of the fabricator and then uh, wait until we have enough materials to actually craft them. But uh, if we add up all the Ingram points, it would be 104 Ingram points for the whole hazard suit set, and then the gas collector itself is 35 Ingram points. So if we do the math, it'd be about 139 Ingram points, which of course we have like 400 something, 446 right now, so we definitely have enough. As long as I don't unlock a bunch of stuff and at least have around 200 or so Ingram points left over, I think we should be in the clear for, you know, crafting these things legitimately, or at least as legitimately as I can. That's why I'm doing the blueprint thing now. And while I'm at it, now that I think about it, yeah, let me get the Ravager Saddle uh, blueprint, just so I don't have to deal with that stuff, especially because I want to go make more Ravager Saddles here anyway. So let me get the actual blueprint, and is that a thing in the smithy, or... Yep, crafted at the smithy, perfect. All right, well, now we'll finally actually get the XP for crafting these things that I can't legitimately craft just yet, you guys. Awesome. Anyways, what is the first... Yeah... I think we're going to want to get this gas collector. We do live, like, basically right next to a gas vent. This is a place on a gas vent to extract congealed gas balls over time. And, of course, we need a pretty good amount of those and to actually craft the bad boy. We need 20 red gems, a pretty good amount of metal, pretty good amount of crystals, and cementing paste. I think we have the 
I think we have enough red gems. I think we got this from a roll rat. Uh, 47 right there. I think that's good. We have five Kajil gas balls right now, which is nothing. But I think we can craft it, you guys. Awesome. Let's go see. If anything, we might be low on metal. Yeah, I need to I need to smelt more over there. Need to throw some more stuff into there. And of course, we just spent all of our charcoal, or at least a pretty good amount of our charcoal, trying to uh, make gunpowder and all that kind of stuff. So let me go grab some wood over here. Fungal wood, regular wood, whatever I have. And I might be able to just resource pull it if I even have the materials. <laughs> Let me throw them all inside this forge over here and we can start smelting this metal down. Uh, fungal wood. There we go. Upgrading station has 255. Nice. All right. Let me grab uh, 200 and then 100 fungal wood. And let me split this up between multiple forges just so we can hopefully smelt this as fast as we can. Let me grab that uh, 84. Let me grab that 44 and that 55, and then we'll split it between these three forges, and I think we'd be good to go, you guys. I might just have to pause the recording and wait for this metal to smelt, depending on if we already have enough metal. Let me let me check. So we have this gas collector. Let's do the... Yeah, not enough resources for pole. Okay. But cementing paste, we might... We might have enough for that. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can do that, no problem. Let's, let's get the crystals real quick. We need 40 crystals. Uh, yep, there we go, right there. 40 crystals right there, no problem. Semantic base, we need, uh, how much do we need? I don't know, but we have 148 right there. We only need 60. Okay, let's get the semantic base now. 60, there we go. I'm pretty sure the only, yeah, the only thing we're missing now is the actual metal, which is smelting already, so we just have to wait for that to be done, and we'll be good to go. And 20 red gems, and we'll be good to go, you guys. Yep, the last thing we're missing is 75 metal ingots, so I'm going to pause the recording real quick, wait for our metal ingots to smelt, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. I guess I'm back. I just got done getting insane amounts of fungal wood so we could hopefully make ourselves more uh, saddles for our fellows over here. I did just count. I think we have 10 ravagers that do not have a saddle right now, so let's see if we can actually make 10 ravager saddles. But for right now, let's try and finish crafting this gas collector. There we go. We got it right now, you guys. Let's craft that bad. Oh, whoops. What in the world? Uh, wait. Yeah, well, this is crafting in the smithy. Uh, why is it? Oh, there it is right there. Oh, okay. I don't, uh, usually you double click it or something. And I guess, yeah, I guess because it's a blueprint, it double clicked and then it went to my inventory. Whatever. I'm getting confused over here, you guys. <laughs> Anyways, let's go over here. Let's go to the Ravager saddle. Let's see. Let's try and make 10 saddles worth. And I can do seven. I can do seven graphs. I guess maybe I don't have enough fungal wood. I might need to go get more. I did just get as much as I could off camera. Yeah, I don't have enough. And an earthquake happened. I have a little bit of gems right there, so that's pretty good. Might want to go tame a roll rat or something here pretty soon. I don't know. Either that or just keep finding random ones and hopefully getting more red gems and stuff. Either that or... Yeah, how many red gems do we need for the actual hazard suit itself? Oh, none. Yeah, blue gems. Congeal gas balls. Okay, okay, we don't need any more. Okay, that's good. Okay, Whew. let me see. Oh, I already have the thing in my inventory. That's good. Let's make all those Ravager saddles. Let's craft all seven of those bad boys. And hopefully when we come back, we can just go put those all on our Ravagers and they'll all have some good armor rating and they'll be able to survive for a little bit longer while in combat. But since we live like right next to a congealed gas vein or whatever this thing is, we do need to make sure that it is not erupting like that. <laughs> we do have one congealed gas ball right there, but... Of course, it is dangerous right now. I actually wonder. I forget which mushroom it is. I think, is it this one or Agravic? It is this one. I don't know if I'm going to get heckin' poisoned and die again from this, you guys. Okay, it's not erupting anymore. It's not erupting anymore. Okay, that's good. Let me get that uh, congealed gas ball and let me grab this thing. And I guess, there we go. I wonder if it's going to erupt anymore. Oh, yeah. And by the way, I did, uh, while I was reading about this gas collector, it does get damaged over time. Because, I guess the gas is very corrosive, it, it damages the actual structure itself, so every now and then we need to come over here and repair it just to make sure it doesn't heck and break, because this thing is expensive. And we need one metal and get one cementic paste, one crystal, and one red gem right now. And it looks like it's already collected one congealed gas ball, that's awesome! I did see... Ah, let me open up the webpage again, and I can see exactly how much it gets, but it says the collector will extract one congealed gas ball every 20 to 25 seconds seems to have some variance in interval so i guess yeah 20 to 25 seconds not exactly every 20 seconds or exactly every 25 seconds somewhere in that range it seems and it can hold a total of 24 stacks of 10 congealed gas balls so that sounds like uh, let me just wait for that one to be done 24 stacks of 10 i guess you could stack 10 congealed gas balls together so I guess this can hold 240 congealed gas balls in total. So that's good. We also need to look at the bottom. 
right there, 7499 out of 7500. Need to make sure that whenever we see that number is very low to come over here and repair that thing. Because right now, it's only down one point, but, you know, two, three, four, ten, twenty episodes from now, who knows? It might be really damaged and it might break, so definitely need to repair that thing every now and then, and need to go back there every now and then and actually harvest all the congealed gas balls that we're going to get from that thing, so... We have a total of... Let me see. We need, like, twenty or something for the... Oh, we only have five. Well, let me see. Congealed... I guess I could do this as well. Yeah, we don't have any more congealed gas balls. We have eight in total right now. Let's go over here to the fabricator. Go to the blueprints. So we need 20 for the helmet, 45 congealed gas balls for the uh, shirt, and only 15 for the gloves, 30 for the pants, and another 15 for the uh, boots. So 15 plus... 30, that's 45, plus 15, that's 60, and then another 45, that's going to be 105, and then another 20, that's 125 congealed gas balls, you guys. But whenever it comes out, uh, assumingly about three a minute, I don't think that's, I, I might just need to leave my computer for like an hour or so, come back, and I wonder whenever this thing erupts. Like, it, yeah, it seems like it's not erupting anymore. I guess, if anything, it's erupting inside of our machine, which is good. Still 7499 out of 7500. Uh, we have a total of six right there, which is awesome. It's almost up to that full 10 stack already, which is great. Uh, we can craft our first thing here in a second, I think. I think we just need to wait for at least one more. I don't remember if there's any that needed only 10 congealed gas balls, but now we have 15. Might as well, before we pause the recording and wait for that uh, machine to, you know, do its job over the next hour or so. Hour for me, by the way. Uh, it'll just be instant for you guys. But let's just go over here. Let's go craft the very first hazard suit thing. Let's see. What would we want? Can't do the helmet just yet. Although we could wait, like, a minute or two, <laughs> and we'll be able to make the helmet. Uh, I I don't think it even matters. I, I might make the helmet, yeah. Let me see. So blue gems, we're gonna need five, I think it said. So let's get five blue gems. I think we might have that much <laughs> inside of the Ravager's inventory. No, we only have three inside of there. Meh, not that big of a deal. We need five for the helmet, I think. So there it is right there. And of course, we need to actually turn this thing on. Whatever we craft. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I was looking at the feet there. Okay, we need 25 blue gems. But meh, like I said earlier, <laughs> we have insane amounts. Yep, look at that. We need 20 more of those. And we can craft the helmet. Yeah, I feel like the helmet might be the best thing uh, in terms of our first piece of hazard armor, you know. So next up, we're going to need 20 congealed gas balls. Hopefully, whenever I go back here in a second, it will actually have five more for us. Let's grab 50 crystals. 50, yep, no problem. We're going to need to actually go around, see if we can actually find more of these regular crystal veins and stuff. That way, I don't have to completely rely on blue gems, green gems, and, you know, crystals falling from the sky to get crystals, you know. What else do we need? 45 hide, or 45 fiber and 30 hide, so that should be easy. Although we probably just spent a lot of that for the Ravager saddles, so let's see. 45, f or 45 fiber, was it 45 fiber or what was it? Oh yeah, it was 45 fiber and then 30 hide. Yep, yep, we still have enough. Let's throw that inside there. And I think we have everything, yep. We just need five more congealed gas balls, so Savager, let's go back real quick. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. I guess I never rode him inside there, okay. <laughs> Let's go back to the congealed gas, vein gas collector, whatever you call it. What is this thing technically? I keep on like going all over the place, calling it everything but a gas, oh, okay, it's just gas collector, whatever. <laughs> uh, okay, we have enough. We only needed five. We just got six, you guys. Awesome. Let's go make the mask, and then I'm going to pause the recording, wait for that thing to make, I think, exactly 100 more gas. Well, 99, because we have six right now, when we only needed five. But I'm going to pause the recording and wait for that thing to give us 99 more of the congealed gas stuff. And then hopefully we'll be able to actually make the... Oh, yeah, we're going to need... I should probably honestly, yeah, now that I think about it, just because we have such a scarce amount of oil, I think I should wait and then craft everything at once. That way we only use one thing of gasoline instead of using like three, four, five of them over time while we craft like one piece at a time. I'm think, I, I think we should wait until we have enough to craft each and every one of these. So if I actually open up the web page for the hazardous suit it'll actually tell me how many materials i need in total to craft everything so we need 125 congealed gas balls yep we already figured that out 166 crystals uh, we might be a little short of that i don't know we'll, we'll check 72 polymer we can get that easily kill some more uh carcanos and we can get that no problem 85 blue gems 155 hide and 235 fiber i think we can get that you guys that'll be enough to craft the full set but 85 blue gems in total let's pull those over real quick we have 25 right now, I think, so just pull 60. There you go, 85. 
And of course, we need 99 more congealed balls. We'll wait for that here in a bit. But for right now, we need 235 fiber. I think we already have 45, so let's get uh, 190. 155 hide. I think we have 30 already, so let's get 125. I think we have enough. I think I saw we had 200. Yeah, there you go. Polymer, we need 72 of that, which I might just, while we wait for the congealed gas balls to go, I think I'm going to go kill some Karkinos off camera, especially using my uh, Ravager pack, which honestly, now that I think about it, we might want to do that on camera. We haven't really used that Ravager pack, like, at all. <laughs> might as well use them, right? So we have 44 Polymer right now. We only need 72. Yeah, we only need to kill, like, one more, so... Yeah, I might, I might just do it off camera and try and get some Palmer while we wait for the congealed gas balls to go. But 166 crystals. We have 50 already. Whoa, okay. We might already have enough. So, 124. Ooh. We're short by what looks like 42 crystals. Okay. Well, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get... 42 crystals. Did I say 142? I meant 42. I'm going to get 42 more crystals. About 30-something more organic polymer, and then wait for this gas collector to continue getting upwards of 99 more gas. We're about 91 away from that right now, so we're slowly getting there. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, let, let's go kill a Karkinos on camera with Savager, especially because you guys have been watching me doing a lot of building and stuff lately, and I finally want to go on an adventure, but it's a little bit too dangerous for us right now, so we're stuck back home once more. Let's go back to the river over here, and let's go find a Karkinos and Harvest its carcass for some organic pot after we take a poop break, of course. <laughs> uh, let's go find a carcanos. Alright, we're over here at the waterfalls. I don't know if there's any carcanos up here. We, we've killed a pretty good- Oh, yep, there's one down there. Awesome, okay. Man, a lot of lag here from all the particles from the waterfall, but there is a carcanos right there. And it's fighting a sarco. Sarcanos, sarcanos. Who's gonna win? Oh man, I'm going to kill the Sarko just so I get the kill and I get all the organic Palmer. There we go, look at that. Sarko skin right there too. And the Karkinos is going to go down too. 36 damage, 79 damage right there. Hopefully my glow tail isn't going to do anything. That's what I wanted to avoid. I wanted to avoid that. Man, I got clawed, I got snipped. Okay, did you get the organic Palmer? Oh, organic Palmer, please. 10 right there. 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, yeah, we have enough. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, yeah, just like I said, we only need to kill one Ekin uh, Karkinos, and we're good to go, you guys. So, I guess I'm going to pause the recording, wait however long I need to wait for the gas vein. If anything, I think we might be able to make a second one. But to make a second one, we need 20 more again. I think we barely have enough to make a second one. And then, even if we make a second one, where are we going to put it? Is there another gas thing around here? I don't remember one being... That's like the only one I, I think I've seen a few of them, but I can't remember off the top of my head where they are. That'll definitely speed up the process a lot, but I'll have to look around every now and then and find it and, you know, repair it and make sure it doesn't break and stuff over time. Hmm. You know what? Yeah. While I wait for that congealed uh, gas collector thing to go, I'm going to go around the map looking for more of those uh, gas vein things and ooh. Yeah, we need more crystals, too. Yeah, this is perfect. Green gems. Let me get some crystals. Although we don't get very many, we do get a little bit. Yep, two right there. We need, like, 42 or something like that. Six right there. 11. 74 green gems, though. Jeez. 18 crystals. Not bad. Up to 19, 20. 21. 9 plus 10. That's a pretty good amount. We got exactly half of what we need. We just need to find one more green gem vein, and we'll be good to go, you guys. Let's drop the stone. Don't need that. But yeah, I, I guess I'm going to look for... Oh, whoa. There's still... I guess I can get that one. There you go. Three more crystals. Nice. But like I said, I'm going to pause the recording, go looking for... I actually wonder if that resource map shows me gas veins now. Let me let me go check. Uh, it does not. It's not showing me where they are. Yeah, that's unfortunate. All right, well, it does show me where the crystals are, so... Ooh, that's, that's very scarce. They're very scarcely thrown all over the place, so... Might just need to find more green gems, blue gems, and just harvest those and... I guess I'll also be looking for those gas veins as well. Gas geysers, I guess I could call them. So I'm going to pause the recording, keep looking for all that stuff, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Oh, you guys, I was looking at the wrong map. I was looking at the resource map. I should have been looking at the explorer map, because this actually does show me where the gas veins are. So this will be very helpful, especially with the GPS that's in my inventory. So, oh, what in the world? Oh, my GPS looks completely, like, whacked out right there. What? <laughs> Well, these things are very scarcely placed here up on the upper bit of the map, but 
on the southern bit? Yeah, they're a lot closer together, so let me try and find some of these gas veins here, you guys, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Seems like there's one like a little bit east of our house at 45.1 and 35.8. So I'm going to pause the recording to find out exactly how far away that is. And hopefully it's not too far away and we'll still be able to maintain it. So I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys, back. This is like the third gas vein I have been looking for. And I'm pretty sure the two other ones I was looking at were at different elevations, either above or below me. Most likely above me, considering I'm like at the ground level over here. But I found another gas vein. It's kind of close. What in the world is that crater over there? Is that a Megalosaurus? No, oh, that's a roll, it's a roll rat. Okay. Whew. But it's over here near the starting area over here, you guys. So it, it's kind of close. I think we might want to actually make another gas thing. It's kind of clear. Let me show you guys where I'm at. I need to take another swig of my... Yeah, look down there is the Alpha Utah or Apex Utah Raptor. So we're kind of above the cave that we went down there. You can see, if I keep going this way, eventually we're going to find our old thatch hut and then eventually our brand new base. There is the little out bit of that initial area that we came out of. Had to jump down there, swan dive to our safety net. <laughs> And then, uh, I'd, I'd say it's worth it. It's the closest one. There was another one that was, like, right here, but I guess it's, like, above me or something. So that's kind of stupid. Uh, we can't get any flying critters here, but if we find any, like, gliding critters or any other way of gaining elevation, that's a lot easier than, you know, just running around and climbing vines and stuff like that. If anything, yeah, we do have a climbing pick. But, man, that's going to be dangerous as heck. But we do have the top-tier, highest-upgraded primal climbing pick, so... It might be worth a try here in the future, you know? But for right now, I think it's a close enough gas vein to where it'd be worth making another gas vein collector thing, you know? It does take 20 more red gems. It's going to be really expensive. But I'd say it'd be worth it. Yeah. And I did get a lot of, uh, oh, look at that, those green gems over there respawned. I don't need them right now, but I did get a lot more crystals and green gems and stuff like that off camera, so we should have a pretty good amount. I'm curious, though, how much... Congealed gas do we have here? Ooh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 53 more congealed gas. Let's let's leave those inside there. Just wait until those hit 100 or so, you know, 99, and we'll be good to go. So let me go back home. Let me go throw the crystals up inside there and, you know, just make sure we have exactly enough. And then let's go make another one of those gas vein things and head back over there. And let's go start collecting more gas from that other one and hopefully start getting it twice as fast. Oh, there's the Ravager saddles. Let's make one more of these. There it is right there. <laughs> do I want to do it? Yeah. 40 more crystals. 60 more. Yeah, let's do it. It's going to be worth it in the end. Just need to make sure we repair them. Yeah, speaking of repairing these bad boys, let me see how much durability the one we have over there already is down to. Does it need repair already? Was it need, if anything? So let's go over here. Oh yeah, we have organic polymer and stuff like that. Let's go grab that organic palmer and go with the road inside of, you know, while we will kind of wait for the congealed gas to kind of do its thing. And there's even more crystals. I think we need like 42 or something like that. So let me just grab, let's grab about half of that. That's 30. And then half of that is going to be 45. So that's going to be a little bit over. So eh, not that bad if we don't have exactly enough, but you know, we have a little bit more. So that's always acceptable. Let's go throw these extra green gems up over here, man. I've got so many of them. 100, 200, 372, and then extra crystals there as well. Not bad. <laughs> and let's go place down this other gas collector thing here in a second. Let me go throw the Sarkasuka skin inside the critter stuff chest. So there you go. Man, that metal's still smelting there, I guess. <laughs> it's burning me up. Yeah, let's go check the durability on this uh, gas collector over here. Let's see how much Vespine gas we have. Or actually how much durability it has. Okay, it's down to 7498. Yeah, it goes down, you know, really, really slowly. Probably only need to check this like once every week, I'd say. I play enough to where I guess I'd want to check it at least once a week. That sounds like a pretty good number, yeah. And even then, it might not even be like a quarter or so away down on the durability. So maybe check it every like two, three weeks, maybe every month. I'll have to definitely keep checking up on these, so... With this other one that's honestly really close to us, if it's going down that durability that slowly, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think I think the benefits of it, you know, being a second gas geyser, collecting more congealed gas, that definitely outweighs the cons of us having to repair this thing every now and then. So let's just go back over here to the nearest secondary 
gas geyser and let's go place down this other gas collector and hopefully we start getting enough gas to finally make our full hazard suit. Might still need to pause the recording, but at least we'll get the gas twice as fast. Are you guys back? I'm here at the gas geyser. Let's place this bad boy down. And there we go. So we have about 60 or so at the other one right now. I'd say we have to wait until this fills up with about 20. And then I'll start heading back. And then we'll collect the gas that's on the other one on the way home. And then hopefully we'll have enough to craft the full hazard suit. So go to pause the recording. Wait for this to collect about 20 or so gas balls. And I will see you guys here in a second. Look at that. We already collected one. Nice. And guys, back in this gas vein currently has 18, 19 of these congealed gas balls. I think that's enough. I think we can get 19 right now. And instead of 20, like I said earlier, uh, the other one might pump out like two or three extras while we're on our way back home. So go to pause the recording once more, get back home, get to the other gas vein, and I'll see you guys here in a second. And hopefully we have enough congealed gas balls to make our full hazmat suit. So I'll see you guys here in a second. Are you guys back? Check it out. Here we're at the other gas vein, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, eighty-eight gas balls, ninety-eight, and then one hundred and seven. So we have enough, you guys. Woo, lad. Let me just grab all those bad boys. Uh, how much do they actually weigh? Oh, they weigh like nothing. A pound for ten? That's nothing. Ten pounds for a hundred of them? That's nothing. Let's go back over here now and let's go craft our heckin' hazmat suit. Do we have anything in the uh, fella? Yep, I could just leave him right there, no problem. And let's go grab one of these things of gasoline over here. Let me just clap my fella off, my glow tail. There we go. It's already bright in here. Don't need it to be any brighter, right? Jeez. There we go. Turn it on and let's make a helmet, a, a uh, shirt, gloves, pants, and shoes. Look at that cue, you guys. Everything is there. Everything is about to be made. One helmet made, one shirt made. Can be repaired at the fabricator. Oh, yeah. What is the, uh, what are like the hypothermic, hyperthermic armor rating is 65. Not bad. We can always upgrade that at the upgrade station, you guys. Seems like it's going to be 65 for every single piece of armor. So, yeah, look at that. Whoa. You guys, we're going to look absolutely crazy here in a second. So, 65 armor each. I don't know what the baseline of chitin is. Let's go check. Chitin leggings. Baseline chitin leggings is armor at 50. Chest plate is 50. Ooh, so it's a little bit better. Not quite as good as uh, flak and, and riot gear, I guess. But it does have its advantages of, you know, not being susceptible to radiation. So let's put all that on. Ooh. Yeah, we've got like a little little view obstruction here so that's kind of unfortunate but if we do get affected by radiation we just need to put on the helmet i guess and until then we could just put on the actually hold on yeah kind of put on the aberration skin and that kind of nah we still have a little thing in the way whoops uh what do i look like oh man i'm a nasty look at that my giant danny devito chin doesn't even fit inside the gas mask <laughs> Oh my god, everything else looks kind of cool though. You gotta admit, not bad. You got that little pot belly right there. Kind of look like a goblin. <laughs> Anyways, I think we're good to go, you guys. I think we'll be able to head down. Yeah, look at the bottom right. Full hazard protection. Nice. So I guess we can go down to the depths. We can go to the surface. We can do anything now, you guys. I feel a lot safer now going that way, looking for oil rocks and all that stuff now than I was like last episode or something. So I think next time we come back, we're going to start heading back that direction. And we're going to find some oil heckin' rocks, you guys. I'm very excited for that. So, anyways, uh, let me let me turn these things off so I don't heck and die from heat and whatnot. And let me go to the upgrade station. Let me see if I can actually upgrade these things any more than uh, they're at right now. Of course, upgrading these things does take some of the initial materials. So, we might need, like, uh, more congealed balls. We might need more blue uh, crystals. We might need more of that stuff. But, let's see. What do we need? So, we need to upgrade. Oh my god, to upgrade this helmet, we need 34 more congealed gas balls, which, how much did we need to just craft it? We needed only 20 to craft it, but 32 to make it from uncommon, or from common to uncommon, you guys. Whoa! Of course, I could go to the augmentation station over here, craft some armor reagents, and give it some more armor rating. Uh, I don't know if I'm, oh, I'm able to make one right there. And I can't make any more. <laughs> let's get our uh, let's get our chest plate. Let's go upgrade that at the augmentation station. That's going to be the only thing I can afford to upgrade right now. So let's augment that. And it's up to 91 armor rating. Nice. So let me check my armor rating. So my armor rating right now is zero. Let me put on all my chitin. So I'm at 1355 with all the chitin. I'm going to be a fraction of that with all my stuff right there. Yeah, I'm down about a thousand armor points right now. <sighs> 
that stings butt. Chitin weighs almost nothing, 0.5 pounds each. So we can always just keep that in our inventory, you know, just wear it like whenever we need to. Or the other way around, we can keep the hazard suit in our inventory at all times, wear the chitin normally, like we already do. And then whenever we get into like radiation zones and stuff, then we put on the hazmat suit, you guys. Okay, I think we have a pretty solid plan there. So anyways, I think I'm going to end the episode right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on your YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you do not miss an episode. Because next episode, whew, we're going to go on another exploration. But this time, we're going to be a lot more prepared than we were last episode. So, like I said earlier, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I will see you guys here next time with some more Ark Aberration. Oh, bye there.